year. The Associated Press's count, he has now surpassed the 1144 delegates needed to win the Republican nomination. It won't be made official until the GOP National Convention, which happens later this summer. He spent the evening at a fundraiser in Las Vegas with supporter Donald Trump. Romney says he's humbled by the fact he's earned the required delegates. Here at home, an update on the story we first brought to you last night. A war hero from Emmett passed away more than 30 years ago. Now, some of his war medals are headed to auction. Yesterday, his family told Fox 9 that the state seized the war memorabilia and that they were fighting mad. Well, today, we did a little more digging into the story and found out the real scoop. Eric Fink is on your side with the story. Michelle, I found out today the state is not auctioning off Charles Sawyer's memorabilia. I spoke to Sawyer's brother Larry this afternoon. He says he gave us false information yesterday. Attorneys for Sawyer's late wife's estate are actually the ones behind the upcoming auction. Emmett's airport is named for native Charles Sawyer, a dedicated war hero, an elite flying tiger who passed away in 1978. 34 years later, his Flying Tiger medals and other war memorabilia will be auctioned off at the direction of his late wife's estate. This is Edith Sawyer effects that we're selling. They're owned by her. So we wanted to make sure that people know the state of Idaho did not force this. This isn't uh, anything the state is involved in, which was represented by one of the family members, which isn't correct. That family member, Charles' brother Larry, first contacted us Monday claiming the state was facilitating the auction in order to help pay for Edith's medical bills. Larry says Edith's family told him the state seized the memorabilia. Today, he regrets he was misinformed. I was very surprised because I'd been told that the state seized all of the medals and the jacket and the flag and everything, and come to find out the state had done nothing. I was devastated very much. Now, Corbett Appraisals plans to auction off Charles Sawyer's medals, his 1964 Chevy Impala, and his collection of motorcycles Saturday. And it'll be an absolute auction, all selling to the highest bidders. Larry intends to be that highest bidder, ensuring his brother's tangible mementos of dedication and service to his country stay in the family. We received a statement from Tom Shanahan at the Department of Health and Welfare in part saying Mrs. Sawyer did not use any state services that would require a state recovery. We regret the state being falsely associated with this incident. Live tonight in the studio, Eric Fink, Fox 9 News at 9. If you have a story that has you saying this